Hey y'all and welcome back to my shop. I've got the new OnTech laser all set up and running now and I've had some folks ask me some questions so I thought I would put together a short video and show y'all some of the uh, some of the ways that I have it set up and some of the upgrades that I've done. To start with I first uh, removed the stock fan that's in the back here. Uh, I went with an AC Infinity a six inch fan and you can see I have it mounted over here underneath my window and have a duct going right out my window and then on the back side I have a like a dryer vent to uh, kind of help keep the heat in and keep the critters out uh, and then I bought a uh, extra length of uh, this black AC infinity duct hose to connect to the back and I get a much better uh, draw uh, pulling the fumes out with that. That's pretty much the, the word I hear on all the videos and on Facebook where people have these uh, home tech machines. They say the first thing they do is try to uh, remove that stock fan and get much better airflow to get rid of the fumes. And even though I'm out here in the garage where it really wouldn't matter if I stunk it up out here, I still don't want to have to breathe that stuff. I want to get it all out. So that's, uh, that's been working well for me. The second thing I've done, right behind here, I've got a uh, chiller. Instead of using the blue tub that they include with this machine, I went with the CW-5202, which is it's actually a chiller that can handle two lasers, but I've just got a, a little loop on the other outlet. The uh, chiller instructions actually included this picture here, and they also included the two little Y connectors. And if I would have had a little bit more length on the hoses, I probably would have uh, connected it that way. But I didn't want to run short on, on the length of hose. I didn't want to have to put the chiller, you know, right up next to the machine. I wanted it where I could get to it easily to, um, you know, to change the settings on it. And also, when it comes time to drain it, uh, I want to be able to get to it easy enough. And uh, so I just left it back there closer to the wall and just did the little loop for the uh, second one. Plus, that will make it easier if I ever add a second laser. I won't have to fumble around with so much uh, the other hoses there. They will stay just like they are. I also decided to go with the four-piece lens kit from American Photonics. They uh, seem to be just a much simpler way to use a, a CO2 laser like this. All of their different focal length things are all set and so when you put the tube in you can just uh, snug it up put your workpiece in there bring your table up till it's almost touching and then use a actually they use a triple a battery i've since cut uh, some of these that will have the right focal length here and uh, you know you just set it up get it close and then loosen that back down and drop the nozzle till it touches and then tighten it back up and you're good to go no matter what uh, lens you have in there. The one I have has a, a one and a half, a two inch, a two and a half inch and a four inch and it's just so much easier uh, to set the focus using their system as opposed to the, uh, the stock lens. You may have heard me mention before my floor out here in the garage is really terrible as far as you know having slopes to it and all so I made the I used my CNC router and made these little pads to go under one side so that I could get this thing level it's not super critical that the machine itself be level it's more important that the bed be level and parallel to the gantry but I still wanted to you know be able to get this thing level without uh, you know without having to crank out a whole bunch of threads on that side. So I just put those little pads on that side and you can see from this level here that I did manage to get the machine pretty level itself. Plus it helps when you set a pencil down, it doesn't roll off. So for right now, I'm still using the stock air assist. I've had uh, some people tell me that, uh, that they've been using that and it works pretty good. They plan to upgrade it in the future but uh, I decided I would go ahead and use that for just a little while just to see how it works 
So far, I've only been up and running uh, a couple of days, so I haven't cut a whole lot of stuff. But what I have, uh, the, the stock air assist so far is working uh, pretty good. I think I probably will upgrade eventually to a uh, Carolina Air Tools compressor. They have some that run a lot quieter than the, your regular compressors. And, uh, and then I can get a little more uh, air assist when I'm doing some uh, thicker cutting. I'd like to take a minute to talk about my channel memberships. I recently enabled my channel memberships and now people can join. And just for my members, I'm going to be doing a special live stream on Wednesday evenings. The first one will start uh, Wednesday, November 8th. And it's going to be all about this uh, home tech laser. So I'm going to be making all kinds of stuff. It should be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll consider uh, a channel membership so you can uh, check that out. If you want to find out about the perks to becoming a member, you can just simply click on the join button. You'll find that right there next to my name and picture. And when you click the join button, it'll come up and you can read all about the different levels of membership and the perks that are that come with each uh, different level. Also, I'd like to add that if you are interested in taking a look at these Ohm Tech lasers, I am an affiliate for Ohm Tech lasers, so if you want to go check them out, I have an affiliate link down below in the description, which when you click on that, that will let, let them know that I sent you over there. And also, if you're interested in purchasing uh, one of the Ohm Tech lasers, there is a discount code down below as well that will give you 3% off of your entire purchase from uh, Ohm Tech. So be sure and check that out. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider doing so. I'm going to have lots of laser beam action coming up. So if you're into lasers, you want to make sure you're subscribed and also hit that little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.